Hey everyone, my name is Qubit, lead developer of the Qubit Simulation 737-800. In today's video, we are going to have a look at the progress zone by me and the team on the 737. The Qubit Simulation 737-800 project aims to achieve the best possible freeware open source 737-800 for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. In order to achieve this, the project has been structured so that when we release version 0.1, the project files can go open source under the GPL v3 license. But before we can release the version 0.1, we need to first develop a base so that the general public can modify and expand the project to achieve a more realistic version of the software. As of right now, the project is in the pre-alpha version 1022, but what's new on this version? Well, we have finally started with the back-end side of the systems, starting with the implementation of two new systems, FADEC and IRS. The FADEC, or Full Authority Digital Engine Control, is a system that is in charge of the engine performance, depending on a series of inputs, such as air density and throttle level positioning. This system is already in the testing phase, and it's already implemented in-game. The IRS, or Initial Reference System, derivates attitude, velocity and direction information from the measurements of the aircraft's acceleration given at a known starting point. This system is still in the coding phase and it's yet to be implemented in-game. On the side of the instruments, we have implemented the MSFS Avionics Framework, which is a major improvement as now the base of TypeScript and React that we were using is officially supported. Other than that, not much has changed on the avionics side. In this update, there has been a major improvement on the visual side of the plane. There has been a major update on the external model textures, as well as on the model itself. We've improved the external model to be more accurate to its real-life counterpart by adding more details and correcting the shape of the model. If we get inside the cockpit, we've also done a major texture overhaul by taking real-life references and matching them as close as possible. Modeling-wise, we have focused on getting the shapes correctly and improving the MCP positioning and shape. Animation side, nothing much has changed as we have mainly animated the essentials, such as the landing gears, and the main exit. If you like what you saw and you have the skills and knowledge to help us with the project, make sure to join our Discord server with the link in the description and go to the developer application channel. There you can complete the forum. That's it for today. I wish that you've liked the progress that we have showcased in this video. And again, thanks for your amazing support. This has been Qubit. Bye bye.